Welcome back my students. Today we're going to be teaching you guys all about the BCS. Now, what you're going to need to follow along with me is you're going to need the Genser and maybe the Genser model identification. You really kind of don't need this anymore because of the new Genser. It allows you to see these things in the file, but I like to keep it anyways just for uh, safety measures. So let's go ahead and open up our X2M folder. This is the folder for my character files. We're going to open this up. And we're going to also open up Genser. Now you might want to go ahead and make an extra folder so that you can have this to use whenever you want. I already have it in different places. So I'm just going to drag this and I'm going to drop this into my character folder just for ease of use. Now it's at the top. It won't be at the top depending on your, you know, your alphabetical order. So I like to change this to the number one. So that way it'll always be at the top close to the BCS because we're going to drag our BCS onto this and this will read up. This will give us a readable text document XML and voila. So as you can see, it gives you the identity, the identification of each part. We have part zero right here. You got part one, part two, you know, you got the eyes, all these things, all these things you can see. So when you open up these things, you can understand why I have them labeled that way. The zero slots for face, etc. So as you go down, you know, you see face nose. You're like, well, what, what the hell is face nose? Is it, is it really face nose? Now, for most characters, that will be something like the halo on Goku's head or for, you know, earrings. A lot of these are labeled as, you know, CAC stuff, but we're not making our characters in that way. So, yeah, you have your hair. And yeah, all this stuff is pretty simple. And if you want to have an extra slot, the best thing to do is to copy it. You, you click right here at the bottom where it says part set. And you want to go all the way up to here. Don't go to part set zero because we're not copying part set zero. We just want the context for ease of use. So then we're going to do the same thing up here all the way up just beneath part set one and we're going to paste that now we have character slots or model slots for our second slot if we wanted to use a second model for our character now let's see because i want to give you guys a good example so let's go to our xenoverse files we're going to give our cac a new costume Let's go ahead and just make a new folder so that we can work. Open this up. And what you want to do is you want to take and copy all of your model files. And you want to paste them here. Let's open up our renamer tool that you should have already gotten from the previous video. And we are changing the number from 000 to 001. All right, we have our new rule. Let's clear if anything that you might have in there before. Drag this here, rename, and voila. We have a new set of model stuff. Now, we don't want the same costume, so let's go ahead and real quickly grab a new costume. Just to make this quick and easy, I'll grab, I suppose, let me get Vegito's clothes. Should it be Vegito's clothes? No, no all right. I need to choose someone that's actually really going to work. So I'll just choose a hum. I'll choose a random hum. Because the problem with Vegito's clothes is that, you know, the neck area kind of goes with his hairline and it's a little zigzaggy. So we don't want that. All right. So I don't know what this is, but we're just going to grab it. We're going to get the boots. We're going to get the bus. We're going to get the pants. And the wrist. Of course, I could see what this is if I wanted to with XenoViewer, but let's just make it a surprise. Let's clear this. And this time we want to take and copy the first part of this. Hero underscore 001 whatever yours is, whatever you have it named, you don't have to copy me. And I'm going to put that for replace. Set new, we're gonna do the same thing here. Copy that first part. 
hum underscore six six four. And now we have our new rule. So we're going to hit rename. And we can just drop this all down here. Now, for the sake of education, I want to teach you guys how you can add new pieces here. So let's go down to our part set one. This is our new costume. And we want to have a halo. Let's look at where is Halo? Halo is for number three, is part three over here which says face nose. So let's find a character that has a halo. And that character is Goku. We know Goku has a halo. So let's see, where's Goku's face nose? We see a face ear. Could that be it? What do we get here? Face here might be a scouter. Yep, scouter. All right, so let's just go ahead and search for the nose. All right, so that, here we are right here. We have our nose. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. Now we're gonna do the same thing here. Let's clear this. And we are going to drag this here. Let's get the first part of this and set our new rule. Update it, find, and change. Cool. We have a halo. And once again, if you want, you can just drag this onto your Xeno viewer and see if you got the right thing. You got a halo right there. All right. So we need to make this read this. So how do we do that? Now what you're going to want to do is copy one of these. You copy it all the way up to here. These are for simple models that do not have a, a bone. I'll make a separate tutorial on that with uh, skeletons and things of that nature. But for now, all you have to do is copy any of these other slots and paste it here. So we're going to paste it here. Don't mess with the face, nose, and all that stuff just to be safe. And we have a problem here that we need to change. So since all of these are 001, we're going to change where it says model and model 2 to 1. Whenever you change these, and if you had like, let's say if you had something that said uh, 013, you would then put this as 13, not 3. You copy whatever number it is. You just don't have to worry about putting the zero unless it's actually zero. So let's go ahead and finish. So for our eyes, we're going to put one for model two and model one. And we're going to put one. And as for the texture, that's also uh, something that we'll get into. I'll get into that with uh, another BCS tutorial because this BCS stuff goes deep. But for now, we're just going to keep it simple. We'll mess with the textures later on. All right, we're almost done wrapping up. Got down to the pants. And now the hands, which is the wrist. And last, the boots. So let's go ahead and save that and get out of this. Go all the way up to the top. We see our file has updated. We're going to drag this back onto our Genser. And make sure it's updated, make sure, because if it did not update, you did something wrong. And you need to figure out what inconsistency you have in your text file. I can delete this extra thing. We don't need that. Now, what we are going to do, we can exit out all this stuff. Now it's time for the finishing stuff. We're going to exit out of all this. We don't need this in our way anymore. Let's open up our character create. Wherever you put that, I like to have mine on my tab, ease of use. And let's open up your X2M that we created in the other tutorial, or whichever one you have. You're just going to have to follow in your own way. All right, so mine is on my desktop, so I'll go ahead and open this. All the settings are already there, but they already have an internal package content. So that means that I have to find my folder again if I want to update it so that it can continue to update my content. If you don't do that, then they'll replace what you already have. So 
Obviously it's on desktop, they already kind of remembered it. So I just hit select folder. And that is pretty much it for that. Let's go ahead and add a new slot. You see right here it says slot zero. We're going to go to add. Now it changed to slot one, copying everything that I had from the previous data. That's cool. We can go into the next thing. Don't need to change anything in CMS. Uh, CUS, we can go on ahead and see our new slot. It also changed everything here. Let's add a different attack, I suppose. I'll put God Punisher and Godly Display. Let's change our stuff up to Darkness Mixer. And we're going to do one more for the road. Let's do. I don't know, I guess Dragon Blitz. We're just being random here. Let's move on. Now, going on over here, we want to add this as well. Otherwise, it won't allow you to save it. So we add another entry. Now we have one here. You have to always have the same amount of entries for all of these. Let's add some new stats. We have this one only says entry zero. You need to add another one. So now it's entry one. And this time, we're just going to make our health mental let's make it an eight recharge rate eight stamina eight and we're just gonna go crazy with these you know one two whatever and just for the sake of fun let's see how fast we can go we're gonna put this as a nine and let's go ahead and add a new aura entry one so let's see whose aura do we want what character i'm feeling like ultra instinct so where's goku Oh, your instinct where you at? Okay. There we go. Oh, true instinct. And right here, you can choose if you want it to be glary glare basically means if the key is going to be rising up or flaring, you know, if you just want your character to be normal without all of that, then you keep that unchecked. I want it to be showing to so everyone can see how strong I am, you know? <laughs> all right. And that's pretty much all you have to do right here. That's it. Let's go ahead and what? Uh oh, did I speak too soon? Every combination of costume model preset must be unique. Okay, yeah, you see how tricky these things go. All right, so I forgot to mention this. You put this right here, costume index to one, model preset one. Now, with the costume index, I believe that's uh. Yeah. All right. So with the costume index, that's pretty much what we did with Genser when we made that extra slot model preset, uh, kind of the same thing. Well, model preset, I believe it deals with, uh, where you get your attacks from. I think if you make an extra slot, you could still use the same, uh, costume preset. If you wanted to, I could leave that as a zero, I believe, and it shouldn't give me any problems. I don't know. All right. Well, clearly I'm not that versed on that. Let's just get to the point. All right, so it allows us to save here. I don't want to make the video too long trying to figure that out. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and try this out. So I'm going to update my current hero to the new hero. Install all of my slots. Now let's try out the game. All right, so we have our Broly armor. And then we have our new costume with the halo. We have a new outfit and our stats are off the chart. I actually like this one a little bit better than our Broly outfit. Boo! Now that me and you are one again, Let's no one can stop love us. Love is everlasting. Fight. Love will light the way. All right, guys, so I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I hope you listened to everything I said. You know, some people might be commenting that they miss on some stuff. Look at our Ultra Instinct aura. <laughs> I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll continue to try to help you guys out. Please join our Discord if you want additional help. I'll be doing uh, Mod Mondays where I, help, uh, where I help people who are in our Discord directly. I'll stream for, like, maybe 30 to... 30 minutes to an hour to help you guys out.
please please uh support the video let's see if we can get a hundred likes and i will continue to push this stuff out to you guys because there's so much knowledge that i can give you guys i'll see you guys in the next one thank you for watching peace out Now I've figured it out. The reason for the runaway growth in your power level compared to my own. It's anger, isn't it? Watching us hurt your son made you angry, which made you stronger. So that's how Saiyan strength works. How primal. Turning your fleeting raw emotion.